Hey, let's play NES. I'm Josh from Offhand Games, and in this episode we play Flight of the Intruder, a 1990 NES game. I have high hopes for a game that comes out in 1990 on the NES. Anything from 1990 and after, you have to live up to graphics and sound quality. Oh lord, looks like Top Gun already from the demo. And Start pauses it. So A is what we're going to need to hit to continue on. Mission 1. I think we have to get our square to that triangle. This isn't bad if you're a Top Gun fan. Do I have to do something here? Maybe? Oh, left. Left gives me more thrust. Thrust is at 100%. Alright, so we've taken off. I can't really... Okay, B seems to pull in the landing gear. Yeah, this game... For 1990, this game could have come out years. Years before. It looks like Top Gun. It looks almost exactly like Top Gun. Okay, we see we've got to turn around here. We don't want to crash into the ocean. It's, it's so hard to tell, it's hard to orient your plane, kind of look at the radar at the bottom to see what you're facing. I'm assuming that the plus signs are all, okay, well, I kind of want to pull up, I bet. I'm assuming that the plus signs are all enemies and they are now behind me. Can we do a loop? Can we do a loop? Yes, we did the loop. Okay, now turn around. But that didn't really help us because our enemy is now to our right. Our bogey is at 2 o'clock. Come on, around here somewhere. Can we take him out? Can we at least want to shoot one guy? My guns are overheated? I'm sorry. Too realistic for a game like this. Let's hunt the guy down again. Right now he's at our 3 o'clock. Bring him around to 12. Straighten out, straighten out. There he is. Shoot him down. Yeah, we got somebody. Nice. Do we have missiles? Select. Select changes our right-hand screen a little bit. Looks like we do have missiles. Alright, lock on. Fire! Didn't look like we hit. Damn. Turn around and go back for him. Once you... <laughs> Once you get the hang of the controls and how loose they are, I mean, I'm getting a little seasick here. I guess airsick is the right term. Once you get used to the controls, it's not that difficult. Yeah, nice. Proceed to the next waypoint. Gunboats. Alright, so now we got to take out some stuff on the ground. Oh, this isn't that hard. Seems to have, like, auto-targeting. As long as you wait for that square to be on your target before you hit the button to fire, seems like it's hitting its mark every time. Oh, we don't have any more? <laughs> well then, we're just kind of firing blindly downward now. Why would they only give me so few... I don't know what this is. Oh, crap. Whoa. Is that me about to crash? No? Or maybe that was just me starting over. It's like they only gave me so many homing missiles. Then after that, you know, you're on your own. I guess we could miss some. As I have. It looks like they're exploding way before they would ever get to me. If you look at the size of my plane and the size of the explosions. Yeah, see, now I'm like out of the the homing missiles. That kind of sucks. So you have to enter into the danger zone. Danger zone! Before before they their shot comes up to where you're at. Oh, crap. No, get out of there. Get out of there. Goose, no! I'll try this one one more time. So far, we haven't had to land. And that's the infamous difficulty with Top Gun was actually landing your ship. 
most people get a Nintendo Power from having high scores on their Nintendo games, but they should have had a top ten list of people that were actually able to land the plane. Alright. Yeah, see, it's, it's very hard to hit them once you run out of those homing missiles. And I don't know what this beeping is for here, because I can... Maybe that's for these homing missiles. I try, I'm trying to go up and down, but you can't really juke them. I guess I can dodge upward. Yeah, I guess I did. Alright, landing zone. Looks like we do have to land. Let's put down our landing gears. Can we? I'm hitting buttons. Okay, landing gears are down. Kind of like... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Holy crap. Well, you know, I tried. My rank is semen. I tried to land, but uh, I guess you have to just kind of know from experience what the, the numbers should be before you, you know, before you reach the, the end of that segment. You can kind of hit left and right to control your altitude and your thrust. But, uh, you know, for a game from 1990... Not very impressed, but for a flying game on the NES, it's better than Top Gun. Uh, so I would play it again if my options were this or Top Gun. That's pretty much my rating on this one. So that was Flight of the Intruder. As always, thanks for watching Let's Play NES. You can share, like the video, and subscribe to the channel to help us grow, and I'll see you next time.